Thank you. My name is Magnus from The Independent. My question goes to President M7. Uh, what kind of story are you going to take to Uganda, to our brothers and sisters? For a couple of days we've been here, we've had enough time to observe what is happening here. What story do you take? That's my question. The, the story? <laughs> I am not a storyteller. <laughs> the, um, I came to Rwanda to discuss with the president, and you had the community. So the story is in the community. <laughs> you, re you know how to read? You, you read the community, that is the story. Uh, which, is, which you should take because this is written down for you. And let's have our last question from the... Uh, and the other story I will tell them is that uh, I, I said this in my speech at the dinner. Were you? Were you, were you did you? The state banquet. Uh, I, I said what uh, I had observed here, some progress which has been made by our brothers here. That one I said in my speech, so that will be another part of, of the story. Uh, last question from the Rwandan press over here. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, Your Excellencies, my name is Shaka Kanma, and my question is for President Museveni. Uh, President Museveni, you have had warm words uh, and your Rwandan counterpart for each other, and that is very encouraging for relationships. But my question is, <clears throat> to what extent, much as we have discussed, we have heard about the meaning of relationship, to what extent is this visit uh, geared towards you, Mr. President, saying, okay, this is my, uh, it's getting late in my administration. I better leave uh, something positive I better leave something uh, very positive to whoever is coming after me. And also related to that, <coughs> towards the, any bigger East African projects that you might have as one of the uh, people that began the East African community revival, to what extent is a visit like this one also part of marshalling uh, all the support that you can find in the future? Well, the, we told you that what we discuss is in the community. You, you, you keep uh, insisting that there is something else <laughs> that was discussed that is not in the communique. Now, if it was discussed and it's not in the communique, then it is a, a, a hammer. I don't know what you call it in Shinyarwanda. Ivanga. Hmm? Ivanga. Uh, Ivanga. So if, if it is Ivanga, why do you... <laughs> What sort of leaders would go and put Mabanga <laughs> to, to the journalist? Uh -huh. Now, about getting late in my administration and wanting to leave something behind, oh, there are so many, many things. Uh, uh, even if I die today, there are so many things that I will leave behind. So I, I didn't have to come to Rwanda in order to get something to leave behind. <laughs> there are a lot of things that uh, are there on the ground. Coming to Rwanda was to do with our relations with Rwanda. Uh, but about things to leave behind, oh, there are quite plenty. If you have got a computer, you can uh, come and I, I give you the list. Or if you could, uh, if, if our ambassador here could give you the NRM manifesto, uh, then you can get the things, the some things, uh, which if I die today, I will live behind. Uh. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellencies, for the time that you've accorded the media today. And we'd like to, to say that it was indeed a pleasure to have you here. And thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.